I feel the need. The need for speed. Ow! Today, I'm giving tribute to my favorite movie of all time and the long-awaited sequel, Top Gun. I wanted to celebrate with playing the ultimate military flight simulator on a cloud gaming platform, DCS World, using the F-18 flight model. What a better platform to try it out on than paper space using the beastly A6000 tier. Is it up to military standards? Let's get in the saddle and engage. Now I've been looking to get into DCS for a while now, and there's no time better than this. If you're wondering if DCS is for you, please know that this is a fully fledged simulator. But it is free to play. It does come with two free aircraft, but the others come at a cost. I also bought the Thrustmaster T6000M throttle and stick for a legit setup, not for the casual flyer. Now can Parsec handle the control layout of all these buttons on both the USB peripherals? That's an affirmative, Ghost Rider. The controls transfer okay, but what's weird is that they identify as Xbox controllers, even when I install the drivers for the stick and throttle. The Paperspace A6000 can handle 4K at really high settings as well. I also have the Steam FPS counter in the top left corner for reference. Does it perform well in flight? Check it out as I perform a quick carrier op of launching off the deck and circling to land the F-18C Hornet. Yes, they're using the Super Hornet in the movie, but that's not available yet in DCS, so we'll have to settle for this. I'm going to go through a quick checklist to get ready for launch. Enjoy. Okay, trim is set for the weight of the aircraft for launch. Oxygen is on. Master arm is on safe. Wheels are set to carrier mode. Now let's put these wings out. There we go. All right. Now let's get lined up. Set to go. Stop, check the outside to see if I'm lined up and move up to where I can guide this in on the catapult. And now that I'm lined up, let's lock in. Okay, there we go. We're set. Okay. Give the old salute. Let's go. Full throttle, afterburners. Alright, now I'm just going to circle and land. They started me with a full load here, so I got to jettison these bombs so I can have a light enough load to land. There we go, jettison everything. Looks like we're good to go. Alright, let's drop the flaps, drop my gear, and the hook to prepare for landing. Alright, three quarters of a mile, now I'm going to call the ball. I see it on the left hand side, that green, those green lights. This is my third overall attempt at carrier landing. One of the hardest things to do in overall aviation. Let's see how I do. Ooh, I nailed it! Good trap. Call the ball. Touching down.
<laughs> Whoops! Wrong movie! Let's get back into formation. Let's raise that hook and get those wings up. Let's not taxi off the side of the ship here. There we go. And there we have it. Now my latency from my paper space server in New York is very good. 20 milliseconds is a great time. That's even better than GeForce Now for me. So the controls feel natural for my stick and throttle. Yep, modern cloud gaming platforms can handle even the most complex games like DCS. Now to try this with a head tracker, or in VR. Let me know if you want to see more of this on other platforms like Shadow or Maximum Settings. I think this would give a Shadow a run for its money. Let's see if I can give you a run for your money here. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you like this overview of DCS F18 on Paperspace, feel free to give us a like. Also, make sure to subscribe and keep it missile locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. Oh!